Now that we're almost to Niakara, I'm getting curious. Is it a nice place? Hmm. Yes, I'm very fond of it. It has a certain kind of serenity. When I meditate there, it feels like my power is concentrated. Wow. Let's take five. All those rocks were murder on my feet. We can rest once we reach the village. Oh, come on, relax. Niakara isn't going anywhere. Right? Rest a while. Oh, sure. <laughs> hey, I won't argue with that. Thanks, Alvin. You're a pretty considerate guy, aren't you? Well, I do have to admit you had me worried, kid. Trying to act all tough like that. Oh, yeah, is it really that obvious? Anyway, I really am fine. And I found that I'm pretty good at pushing all the complicated stuff out of my brain. Is that right? Who are you? You like her? Is she the one who caught your eye? All right, let her go. I could care less what you're here for, but she's my employer right now. Then stay back, unless you want me to kill your golden goose. Alvin, look, up there. That rock to the right, can you hit it? Take a look. It could be the key to saving Mila. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah. Oh, you're just gonna watch her die then? With friends like that. Out of the frying pan. And into the firefight. Come on, let's clean up this mess. It's charging! Flames come forth. Fireball! It's over. Okay. Green field! Flames come forth. Fireball! It's over. Flames come forth. Fireball! Not yet. Flames come forth. Fireball! Let's do this. Okay. Demonic chaos! Watch a pro in action. Demonic chaos! Not yet. Flames come forth. Fireball! Not yet. Very 
things of beauty. Let's do this. Okay. Demonic chaos. Yeah. All right. Alvin. Not, not over yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> Damn. Over. I'm not Alvin. We need to conserve our strength. <laughs> <laughs> Come forth, oh, Not yet. 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 Flames come forth. Fireball! Guardian field! Flames lost come forth. focus. Fireball! Not giving up already? Flames come forth. Fireball! It's over. Bearings of beauty. Okay. It's over. It's over. Not bad. It's over. It's over. Burn! Yeah! Sonic thrust! Rain come forth. Fireball! Alvin! Not bad. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's how we do it. I didn't think that was possible. We should practice chaining our attacks for the future. So this is experience. Just keeps getting better. I won't let anyone down. So you spotted that monster camouflage as a boulder? Good eyes, kid. Did you ever consider what would have happened if the creature charged at you instead of that woman? It wouldn't have mattered either way. Alvin still would have gotten into that woman's blind spot. You thought of all the angles that quickly? <laughs> what are you, a tactical genius? Genius is a good word. Not many people can think that fast. Hey, it was nothing. Thank you, Jude. You too, Alvin. Hey, where'd that woman go? Hold your horses, Mr. Honor Student. We're not gonna get anywhere if we spend all day worrying about the bad guys. Come on, let's get moving. That's quite the spectacle. What do you say? Up for a quick dip? If you're intent on that, I won't try to stop you. But I can see monsters waiting under the water. Well, that was something. I've never seen such a large monster before. Monsters who experience a mutation in their mana lobes can expand to massive sizes. You read that in a book? Yep. <laughs> Not much gets a rise out of you, does it? You're no fun at all. You didn't seem particularly surprised yourself. Well, that wasn't anything I haven't seen before. You've traveled around the world and seen all sorts of things, huh? All true, but I've never seen anyone pick a fight with a monster that big before. Well, I'm glad that we were able to show you a new experience. Hmm. Lucky me. Hey, Alvin. About your weapon. You've got an eye for good steel. This is one heck of a blade. Actually, I meant the other one. Oh, you mean this? Yeah. I've never seen anything like it. It looks like it channels fire spirits and projects their arts at foes. Yeah, something like that. That's incredible. Where'd you get it? Oh, I see how it is. You're the envious type. Stare all you want, kid. I ain't giving it up. You don't have to treat me like a child. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm just yanking your chain.
we must. Flames come forward. Fire! 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 Not yet. Guardian field. Wind Not yet. He's next. Wind Not yet. Sorry about that. And I have awakened yet another level of hidden talent.
I hope I made the right choice with my Lilium Orb. It's up to you to develop how you choose. Believe in yourself. So, any idea who that woman was? No clue. Although she did seem to know me. I imagine you mercenaries make a lot of enemies in your line of work. Although, I have to admit, she was really pretty. I never pegged you for the bad girl type, kid. Or maybe you just like older women. I don't know. Maybe. We've arrived. So this is Nia Kara. 
Huh. I thought it would be fancier. Excuse me. Where's Ivor? Hmm? He went off to find Lord Maxwell and... Lord Maxwell? Yes, I have returned. I can't believe you deign to speak to me. I am unworthy. I guess she's the real deal. She's something, all right. Not everyone gets to road trip with a major deity. I had my doubts. Please relax. No need for formalities. You say Ivor isn't here? Yes, but he should have returned by now. We're worried about him. I see. He always did have a short temper. Please, return to your work. I need to perform the ritual to resummon the four at my shrine. But it would seem my handmaid is away. Would you mind lending a hand? What? You mean we can help you? I'm not exactly a religious scholar. It's nothing difficult. The village has four altars, each with a temporal stone. So you want us to bring those to the shrine you mentioned? Precisely. Why not just ask the villagers for help? You saw what just happened. Except for my handmaid, I don't really fraternize with the villagers. They can barely look at me, let alone hold a conversation. Ah, oh, the trials of godhood. Well, I guess a little physical labor won't kill us. Right, kid? We can handle it. Don't worry, Jude. I'll explain your predicament to the villagers after the ceremony. Please be patient for just a little longer. Uh, sure. Okay, let's get hunting for those temporal stones. You said they were in the village? Yes. Gather the stones and bring them to the shrine. It lies beyond the village. That mountain beyond the village sure is something. That's the Niakara Halamont. It's a special land where four spirit climbs meet. Niakara really is the sticks, huh? How about we just call it simple? This is your hometown, Mila? It's so normal. Isn't it nice? It's so quiet here. Yeah, it sure is. Pretty weak, huh? I was expecting something freaky. Hey, come on. Did you say something? Oh, I was just wondering if your parents were around. Spirits don't have parents. And how were you born? I took this form 20 years ago. I appeared, along with the four, in the village shrine. Why? 
You seem to have a lot of questions about me. Just trying to keep Jude entertained. He was complaining about how boring the village was. Jude, do you crave chaos that much? What? I, I didn't say anything like that. Compared to the outside world, I guess Nia Kara really is quaint. These are such weird buildings. The villagers channel a combination of earth and wind spirits when constructing them. Welcome home, Lord Maxwell. I'm glad to see you're all well. All thanks to you, Lord Maxwell. Wow. So people really do worship Mila. It's pretty rare to find Maxwell worshippers these days, but apparently they used to be quite common. Faith in the spirit seems to have fallen dramatically all over the world, although I couldn't tell that from here. The more spirit arts progress, the more spirits are seen as simply another facet of nature. So they used to be a bigger deal back then? Yeah. Legends say that it was the spirit Maxwell who created Riza Maxia to begin with. And the first human to follow him, Kresnik, came to be known as the Genesis Sage. Correct. And the people of this village are Kresnik's descendants. <laughs> yeah, you get crazy origin stories like that in all these rustic towns. How dare you! Twenty years ago, I personally witnessed the advent of Lord Maxwell and the Four Great Spirits. I saw her grow into the woman you see before you without ever taking a bite of food or a wink of sleep. This miracle is proof that our legends were true. Wanna tell this geezer about the time Mila collapsed from hunger? Just leave him alone. Come to think of it, the six ruling houses of Rashagal are all a part of that legend too. Their founders were supposed to be the six disciples of Maxwell and Kresnik, right? 
Now that is the truly absurd origin story. Those fools have no clue about the true secrets of this world. I should never have said that. Please, forgive me. What just happened? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Thank you. 
Here we go. This must be one of the temporal stones. Correct. We need three more just like that.
There we go. All four temporal stones. I appreciate your efforts. Let's bring them to the shrine beyond the village. So, all the arts that channel the four great spirits don't work anymore? Yeah, not since the silencing 20 years ago. The power of the four disappeared overnight, causing a worldwide panic. And when did Mila take human form again? 20 years ago. Wait, are the two related? Yes, that was me. I reserved the four for my personal use. Seriously? I have no reason to deceive you. Of course, even I can't summon them now. So you'll have to take my word for it. Flames come forth. Fireball! <laughs> oh, <my God>. Not <laughs> over yet! Oh! <laughs> 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 I said! 
shoulder. In here. Is this your house? My house? I've never really thought about it like that, but I suppose so. Boy, you're really in the sticks. 
What do you do for fun out here? My mission is not to entertain myself. I do spend time reading books written by humans, if you must know. Sounds... fun. Let's perform the ceremony. So, is this... okay? Perfect. Thank you. Lady Mila, I was worried sick. This looks like the rite of the Four's advent. Why would you perform such a ritual? Wait, what's going on here? Efreet, where are you? Undine, come out! Lady Mila, what has happened? I cannot believe it. So, why do you think you can't summon the spirits? Are they dead or something? Idiot! A great spirit cannot die! Was I supposed to know that? Just like a lesser spirit, a great spirit becomes a fossil when it passes away. Yet, its power transfers into the next great spirit. At least, that's what they say. Nobody's ever seen it happen. Oh, so I've heard. <laughs> That's blasphemy. Spirits are undying beings that dwell in the spirit world. It's beyond your understanding. Hmm. Well, maybe that device captured the four great spirits instead of killing them. Impossible! Mere humans could never capture the great four. But... The four great spirits aren't answering their lord's summons. If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. If you leave an egg in a box, then somehow that egg should get crushed. The cause must lie within the egg itself. Good old Howe's egg principle. You really are an honor student. <coughs> Aspyrix advanced enough to capture even the four. When that happened, I then lost my power as Maxwell. Mila? Now you will all leave. This is holy ground, and you'll desecrate it no more. I'm the only one ordained to serve Lady Mila. Ivor, please leave as well. You can go home. Huh? Let me see. How should I put this? You're annoying. Oh! Oh. Lady Mila wouldn't be in this predicament if it wasn't for you blasphemous fools! For the love of Maxwell, I knew I should have never left her side! Well, Mila wasn't kidding about his short fuse. Hey, are you even listening to me? Uh, yeah, I mean, huh? <laughs> Heed my words! Henceforth, only I shall serve the Lady Mila! Interfere at your peril! You gonna stick around? Yeah. Okay. I'll be back at the village. I have to figure out what I can do. Oh. 
What's wrong? I thought you were gonna rest. I would say the same to you. You didn't go back to the village? No. Well then, let's go set you up with the villagers. What's wrong? Worried you won't fit in? No, that's not it. So, what are you gonna do now? Will you return to Fenmont to destroy the Lance of Kresnik? Yes. When you consider that the Lance drained mana from the Four, along with the other people there, we can assume the mana serves as some kind of fuel. The Lance must gather mana before it can be used as a weapon. I doubt it will be ready immediately. I suspect their mana gathering activities will continue. Are you planning to go alone? Stop beating around the bush. If you want to tell me something, just say it. I want to know, how come you're so brave? You've taken an interest in me, haven't you? <sighs> Bravery. That's not really it. I have a task to perform, and I do whatever it takes to complete the task. It's that simple. But you're only human now. Isn't this mission too big for just one person? I mean, you could die. That changes nothing. The task must be completed. You really are brave. Any other questions? Then let's go back. Hey! Yes? Can I come too? With you? Your whole life was turned upside down because you got involved with me. You don't regret it? Well, sure. A little bit. But it's too late to cry about it now. It's not like I can turn back time. Now that I'm neck deep in this, I want to help you, if I can. You really are a do-gooder, aren't you? Y you think so? I didn't stay behind in the shrine to rest. I was hoping to sneak off without dragging you into things again. Really? Yes. Consideration for others was something I learned on our little journey together. It's not as easy as I thought. Anyway, let's head to the village. Now that you found me, I suppose I'm in no rush to leave anymore. Okay. <sighs> there really is no place I feel more at home. Wasn't Alvin with you? No, I think he went back to the village. <laughs> 